And yo, during the holiday weekend, around Thanksgiving, we get called to a cardiac arrest during an overnight shift to a woman's shelter. And it was around two in the morning. When we show up, we find this person in cardiac arrest. We do what we have to do. We intubate her. We try and shock her. We give her medications. We start an IV. All these things. High quality CPR. You got firefighters there, police officers. The radios are blasting. And it was a female shelter. So we had all these females around us. They was checking us out because they wanted to see if we were going to be able to revive her friend or their friend. We were unable to. And it was extremely fatiguing because just... Two or three days before that, I was in the Dominican Republic finishing up a semester pretty much and finishing up exams because if you didn't know, I would study to I was studying to be a doctor in the Dominican Republic and working as a paramedic in New York City. And the reason why I bring this up is because there was a lady on the scene after we weren't able to bring the post back, after our, our attempts were in vain, we basically started cleaning up our mess, started cleaning up everything that we used to save this lady's life. And one of her roommates came up to my partner with a dollar and he she asked him to please buy her a can of soda because she couldn't step outside. Why did she do that? I have no idea, but apparently she really wanted that can of soda. My partner flipped out on her, bro. My partner was very, very, very offended by this request from this lady and he was a he's a great guy super cool but in reality he was just so stressed out at the very moment that he spazzed out on her he went crazy on her like how dare you ask me for a freaking can of soda what do i look like a delivery guy what the hell is wrong with you etc etc to the point where i had to step in and tell him hey bro chill man let's just go let's just go because it looked like he wanted to put hands on her so I say that to say this, my people, at times working on the ambulance, at times working as a healthcare provider, your stress is going to extrapolate to your patient care. Your stress is going to extrapolate to the bystanders. Don't let that happen. You need to find positive ways to vent out your stress. That's why he spazzed out on her. Instead of laughing it off, like, hey, miss, you know, I'm working. Ah, ah, he went off on her. Why? Because he was like one of those cats with their back arched and their hair standing up. You know the freaking picture where they're just like ready to attack. So I know and I identified it immediately because I've been there. I've been hopped off caffeine. I know what it's like to not get enough sleep and work like 70, 80 hours a week in the South Bronx in the busy area. So my people, if you're going to be stressed, understand that it's almost inevitable when you work that type of job. And that stress is going to lead to burnout. And needs, you need to avoid it because it's going to affect your health, both mentally and physically. So what you need to do is find positive ways of venting. Because if not, the job will get to you and then it will be no longer an enjoyment. It'll be more like a chore that you resent. And that's the last thing you want when you have people's lives in your hands. I hope this helps. Peace. You're looking for a workout regimen? Look no further, because in 60 seconds, I'm gonna give you one for free. The seven years it took for me to become a medical doctor and the nearly 20 years I have working as an unsung hero, I get the same question every single time. Can you help me get a nice body? Can you help me get big arms? Can you help me feel confident again? After helping hundreds of men and women, the answer is yes. I've come to realize that we all suffer from the same damn things. What diet works best? What workout should we do? How do we stay motivated? That's what I'm gonna customize, a free 30-day program to help you take a step towards the right direction. I'll show you the exact workouts, how to eat the foods you love without sabotaging your results, and most importantly, I'm gonna be with you every step of the way so you can reach optimal health. How do I know you can reach optimal health? Because I'm a medical doctor. All right, click on the link below. I'll see you on the other side.